<laughs> better get these readings done before I smack my phone so badly I won't be able to get my nails off. Anyway, I wanted to show you the cards. Right. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> I hope the sound is not bad. I smacked my phone. My goodness, I'm surprised it still works. I'm really surprised it still works. I want you to see the shuffle deck. Perfect, see? There is a middle way in the end. There is a middle way in the end. So, there is half moon, it's literally in the middle, the moon, and I thought I'll do a reading. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I see in the past that um, you probably decided to leave behind, you know, unimportant feelings like immature feelings, like maybe you realize places in which you've been emotionally immature and places in which you probably let yourself be controlled by emotions and you decided to let go of that. Also, let, let go of um, being shy and just you know get yourself confidence back uh it's interesting that i'm getting this message because before i actually started the reading i was thinking exactly about this the most confident people you see or you meet or the people that you meet and you're like my goodness this person is incredibly confident and so on those are the people that you should not actually look up for until you get to know them if it's like random people you know, like, don't try to compare or to be like, oh my God, look at those persons, because at those people. So yeah, you get your confidence back. Maybe you have a long distance lover. Maybe you chose um, to, I don't know, to tackle situations, to be a bit more confident. I guess you have to see my face so let's do like that but yeah i do see this in the past getting back your confidence maybe it's in relationship to love maybe you decided to go back into dating Yeah, the Queen of Swords also shows up, so it's very decisive. Um, I do see your home becoming the most important thing for you in the past, and maybe also like invested in uh, decorating, redecorating, re-renovating uh, your home. There could be, you know, some um, women that entered your home as well, or you decided to be a bit more assertive in terms to what you want to spend your money on. Maybe you're not wasting money. Maybe you started to make a bit of economy, you know, like you started to save. You probably also got some money through some sort of will or decisions, legal decisions. I'm so sorry for the image, but maybe the voice is more important than the image. Okay. Um... I feel like you could have also decided where you want to go next in the recent past, but I do see everything that is related to how you preserve your harmony and peace inside your home, as well as your finances being incredibly important. It could also be that some of you asked for a raise, you know, ask for a new position, uh, you know, that could be also something you ask for something that you are very rightful um, 
you know, to get it, to have it. I don't think you you thought you will ever get it to be honest yet in the font at the bottom of the deck. Um, I don't think you thought you're gonna get it, but yes, um, I do see in the past the confidence you had could have been a bit too much to be honest. I do feel like you probably kept yourself in check with things where you're overly confident when you're like a bit you know too too much for those around you because you you could be so energized i do see you being incredibly generous with your resources and i don't feel like this is just you know financial resources i also feel like you've been very sexual my friend very sexual you could have also met somebody that is matching you quite quite well like it's mirroring you quite well not just matching you quite well it's mirroring you quite well but even though i feel like in the past you started to make the choices and the decisions that are good for you that are the choices and the decisions that are for you you became your first priority priority your main priority priority was you and i also feel like you started to maybe talk a bit about uncomfortable stuff or maybe this is something that you have been thinking if you should rather talk about the hardships um i feel like these are hardships from your past i don't feel like in the like not this past even more past because i feel like in this past here um you actually took charge of stuff and you have optimism and confidence and you know you show up in, in your own energy in so many ways it's impossible not to feel good in your own skin but probably you find it hard to talk about like real uh past like real far past uh, maybe you find it hard to talk some truth maybe you have some challenges with some men uh, and you find it hard to speak your truth that's another thing that i see here and i feel like doing i feel like doing really really interesting things right now with the cards especially and i'm not sure if i should just let it go and just do them or not um but one thing i'll do because i feel like putting this deck you know on the cards and not clear the table before i take the new deck so i'm gonna put this somewhere where it's not gonna bother but they have to be on top of the rest of the cards anyway let's see what's going on with you in the current There are some things in the current that maybe are disturbing your peace. So if in the past you got your peace back in the current, I see that either there is some, some sort of connection that you have, either directly or either you have some conversations inside your home that are disturbing the peace in your home. It could also be that you are looking for a new home or somebody is trying to find out a, a bit about more private stuff about you. If you have uncomfortable conversations inside the house, my advice would be just go for a walk and have those conversations, being them on the phone or, you know, even with your person, you just go for a walk and talk about the hard stuff. Um, I highly advise that regardless, because one, you don't leave those energies inside your home. And second, when you have tough conversations while you are on a walk, they are easier to have them. Or you go into a public space, it's somehow, more easy to have them in terms of they're not going to get into an argument you know but i do feel like somebody wanting to know a bit more about your private stuff maybe somebody wants to know rather if you're married or maybe somebody wants to know where do you live uh, i also feel like somebody um, wants to know a few stuff about you you know it's not just one thing but they want to know about your status they want to know about you what you do what, what what's up with sage mm -hmm. give me a second
in the past you are the shit my friend you understand <laughs> Mm. One at a time, please. Can you please give me one at a time? Thank you. That's two at a time. Oh my god, my friend. I don't know what you're doing, but keep on doing what you're doing. If you took a break from the world and you've been um, focusing on yourself, yeah, keep on doing that because you show up so good. So whatever you do in the current being it, you know, physical or financial related is going to increase both your health and your uh, finances. So whatever you do, just keep on doing. I do see physical activities to be quite important. And I do also see that um, maybe from two people in your life, one is a friend, the other one is a foe. And that's something that you will have to discover at some point. Uh, but you have here 666 and 666 is a very good number that you can pull from this. And if it's in relationship to your finances, then you're going to get blast. You're going to get a bunch of coins in, in the near future i feel like this is like maybe you already got some good news about it or you got a good business idea it could also be that somebody wants to do business with you as well and with that you are going to get coin it's you at the bottom of the deck with the world and i feel like people are talking about you people are changing the way they talk about you and i feel like some people want to make some business with you and this is going to show up a bit more in the future but do be careful keep in mind one is a friend one is a foe so be careful to, to identify that for yourself <laughs> do you know that song from charlie put i think i don't want no dream of in my life <laughs> my friend who has time for nonsense really like who has time for nonsense and you seem not to have time for nonsense like the only things that you want to invest your time in is good vibes it's really sagittarius energy here and i'm really happy to see this energy here because i feel like it's been a while it's been a while since i since i got like pure on Sagittarius energy, optimistic, philosophical, having the higher perspective, representative of justice, you know, like, yes, my friend, keep that, keep that vibe, no bullshit in your life, don't give in to negativity, don't give in to, you know, the BS that is going around you and in the world and just keep, keep this vibe. I also feel like you're going to have like a big epiphany. I don't want to say like, you know, and being very mindful with this. So I'm not going to say the way I feel, but some of you are going to have a spiritual ascension. You're going to get, you know, blessings because of the way you conducted yourself on your spiritual path. And this is going to show to you most likely financially wise, or some of you are going to be blessed with a baby. So keep on going with a, with a good job. You know, so far the five of wands in reverse is looking really good. I really like it because if, your current situation is like going in flows like this up and downs in your home um yeah you might have you know some um moods let's say you know in your energy but it seems like it comes back it doesn't go you know on a spiral it doesn't go on a rabbit hole so it doesn't matter whoever would probably want one way or another through envy or whatever gossip or investigating onto you to disturb your home piece it will not happen unless you want to change the home environment that can really happen now oh, sage it's you all over the place my friend um you made a wish at some point I'm not sure if that's going to happen because it could be that you've been changing your mind on and off so much. You have to to stick to your plans, to stick to your ideas and keep on investing on your growth. It could be that in some places, like I said previously, you've been a bit uh, too much. Um, probably you've been a bit too optimistic. Um, but I do see anyway that you're continuing on growing. I feel like for you... 
in the current the advice would be to just focus on one thing and i'm showing you two fingers no but focus on one thing and grow in that aspect being this you know education or uh, career or health or relationships whatever it is for you that you want to grow focus on that you show up in the past and you show up in the current and i would not be surprised if you show up in the future as well some of you if you know yourself doing you know spiritual stuff or if you know yourself um i wanted to say like flirting but maybe you know like starting to try tarot or healing or herbs or whatever that would be for your craft i feel like you will unlock a new spiritual gift or you will get higher on your spirituality with that i feel like your gifts are getting stronger and i feel like that's because you probably get to conduct yourself differently you make a shift or something in your home will happen that will make you be a bit more grateful and make a shift into that you know sometimes you push a bit too much and you know it's good to want but it's good that you come back and check yourself on stuff you know you don't let yourself to go overboard and then drown it seems like if you go overboard you go back to the boat you know boom chunk of cards i really don't like when they come like this but i'll take them <laughs> oh my god two stories unexpected my friend i don't say this easily but if this happens to you and you can comment on my video please do so because i know some of you cannot comment because i don't know what kind of settings i have on on this but listen unexpected uh past lovers may return into your life uh it's the retrograde season so that could really happen um this could be it's up to you if you want to give it a chance or not but with the other cards that came you can try maybe this is you know something you've been waiting for a really long time this could be a friend not necessarily romantic as two of cups is not just romance but i feel like something from your past that made you feel very good could come back into your present and that that was you know if you had to pause with somebody it was a necessary pause because i feel like with the death and rebirth so many things were it had to happen and you know sometimes you really need to take a break from some people in your life because you both are going through so much together it can actually break the connection but sometimes time and pauses can you know the cliche like time um time um, will heal it well this kind of looks like that kind of cliche in the future so um yeah it seems like it's a situation that has been long, maybe even long distance. I have also like a two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It probably you and somebody had to choose each other, you know, and underneath I have the king of pentacles and I also have the king of pentacles here. So it could be a situation in which two individuals had to go through all the fuss in life so that they can, you know, come back, uh, come back to each other. Mm -hmm. some of you are connecting with a Leo okay yeah uh, again same message king of wands at the bottom of the deck again same message of choosing each other uh, this is an important choice i feel like for many of you um rather if you want to continue with a person or not um if it's not a person this is a very important choice that you will have to make and it will come with some sort of sacrifice this will come with either you know leaving some stuff in your past like leaving a place i've mentioned home uh, so far so maybe some of you are going to relocate that means you leave all the memories and all the known places behind because you're going to go into a new place or you choose you know uh, to give a chance to this relationship with this person from your past and that means you have to leave behind all the um, all the sorrows from the past you know you have to leave the past 
uh, in the past and as well you have to choose each other this is a rational decision that i feel like it's made but it's like after you conduct an analysis of your feelings because if in the past you've been a bit impulsive and you made some you know rushed decisions or uh, you said some things under pain and stuff uh, maybe you had to take a break or somebody said sage i say you because this is your reading but you know flip the energies as it resonates okay and why i turned into a love reading can somebody explain this to me yes um six of wands showed before as well so it could be a lot of pride that has to be swollen uh, i feel like there is going to be reflection that you have to to do uh in order for you to actually overcome could be even you know um traumas or side effects of some sort of story in your life so let's say somebody betrayed you in one way it doesn't have to be the same person but the situation was so similar it took you back into past experiences but don't worry about it my friend because there is growth with the empress and six of wands here it's not that there is growth but there is um, more than just potential for you to actually grow and learn from that but i feel like you will also need to rest uh, if you feel like you're pushing a bit too much you will need to rest some of you like i said i feel like some of you are pregnant and you will have like a big challenge in pregnancy and you will have to sit down and, and rest probably the majority of your pregnancy okay so sorry i'm getting messages i'm not sure if this is for you or this is for somebody that is messaging me it could be for somebody that is messaging me but um because i can't check now the the message um i leave your reading here if something shows up i'll make another one but this is what i have for you sage hopefully it helps and i'll see you in the next one bye